This past week, we did $65,000 in assignments. And in this video, I wanna share with you exactly how we did that so that you can replicate the same. Let's talk about the model that we use in order to successfully do this business. And this is the nationwide wholesaling model. Now, you may know me as the creator, godfather of virtual wholesaling. And that was initially, I came up with that around 2007-ish. I was doing that a few years prior. And virtual wholesaling is where you're doing transactions virtually, but you are picking one market and you're doing that market from a different location. Nationwide is where we're picking 15 to 20 different markets to 15 to 20 different states. And we're doing deals all throughout those states, wherever those leads come. Everything is virtual. So we never meet with any of the property owners, the buyers, anyone. In addition to that, we never estimate repairs on any of these properties. We don't even think about that. It's purely a numbers, a mathematical equation. We analyze these properties 99% of the time just using Zillow as our main tool to be able to analyze these deals. And again, everything is strictly over the phone. So very important for you to know this. Number two is where did the deals that we did come from all of them now all of them came from facebook tiktok and also google they're spread out among the three platforms more heavily on facebook and tiktok than on google now the way that these deals came about is that we we have a partner program where we have students clients that want to learn this model and what they do is they sign up and we set up all of their ad accounts. And so we set everything up and then they turn them on. And now they are running their own ads. And now as they're running their ads in the background, they're talking to these property owners, etc. Under our supervision, we're telling them what to offer on these properties. Uh, you know, uh, we have we have daily office hours where pretty much we, we tell them, hey, this is a deal, not a deal. Do this price, that price, forget about that property, etc. And then they go ahead and put the property in the contract and they send us the deal. And then we go out and we find a buyer. We will uh, coordinate with the buyers and the, the, the sellers, get the property shown, deal with the tenants, uh, get all the agreements signed, send it to the title company, and then now uh, coordinate the closing. So the money that I told you that we made last week, that's uncollected. We do have, that's, those are not like signed contracts where we're estimating how much we're gonna make. Those are actually signed agreements that we have where we have a, an agreement with the seller, an agreement with the buyer and a deposit. And then now we're moving that over to closing. The only thing that could derail that is in fact, is if the property has some title issues, but outside of that, that's the only thing. So they're pretty much solid deals that we expect for them to close. Now, there's a couple of nuances here that I want you to make, make you aware of. The leads that they're getting are amazing leads, and that's because they're running their own ads. Now, there's people out there that will tell you that it is too hard to run your own ads, that you have to create all these videos every single week and all these images and these creatives and that you shouldn't be spending time doing that. And what happens is that all those people, we all have an ulterior motive, right? Because the people that are telling you that are the people that either sell you leads or they uh, have an agency where they want you to give them money in order for you to be able uh, to get leads. And we ourselves have an agency, a small agency, not a big one. And we tell our clients up front that unless they're willing to spend a disproportionate amount of money in, in ads relative to the agency fee, then the agency is not a good option. Let's say for example, that you had a thousand dollars to spend on marketing and the leads were 50 bucks a lead. Let's just say an average, we get leads less than that. We get leads for 25 or 35, but I'm just using 50 because it's easier to calculate. If you had, you, you would get 20 leads. So that would make your cost per lead $50, right? $50 times 20 leads, it's a thousand bucks. But if you are having an agency run that for you and they're charging you a thousand dollars, and I've seen some agencies charge as much as two or $3,000 a month, 
then if they're charging you a thousand dollars to run those ads you are doubling your cost per lead now you're spending a thousand dollars a hundred dollars per lead as opposed to fifty dollars per lead and the thing is is that with these campaigns and if you're interested we can help you with this because we could either we have courses that will ha allow you to do all this yourself or we can actually set up these for you at a very affordable cost and then there's no monthly agency fee but with these campaigns the hardest part is setting them up you got to set them up properly once you set them up properly then you don't have to touch them we have campaigns that have been running untouched the same images the same videos for months and they still continue each and every single day to pump out leads so don't let anyone deceive you on the fact that you can't do this yourself in fact if you're brand new you should be doing this yourself because if you're getting leads from let's say a nationwide lead provider and you're getting you know say you know 75 dollars nationwide leads typically you're getting the leftover leads that nobody else wants which means that you're going to get trailer uh, mobile homes you're going to get stuff like in, in the middle of nowhere and the way we run our campaigns yes they're nationwide they're spread across 15 to 20 states but we're getting leads in very populated areas and the cost per lead is 25 to 35. so i say that because i want to make sure that you understand that these are brand new people that go from zero to a few weeks later running their own campaigns successfully doing so getting these leads and now they're focused intensely on talking having great conversations with these property owners analyzing the deals and then putting them on the contract now you you don't need to be involved with us you could take it all the way through and find yourself a buyer i forgot to mention that with the ad campaigns you, you know you really need a budget of 50 dollars a day you don't have to run that the entire month 50 dollars a day is is uh 15 uh, fifty dollars a day is fifteen hundred for the month. You can run that campaign fifty dollars a day for a couple of weeks. Then, if if you are tight on funds, you can pause that. With Facebook, uh, some people out there say, "Oh, you can only run a campaign if you're spending at least seventy five dollars a day." They're telling you that because they run an agency and they only want clients to spend a lot of money. We have campaigns that we have clients running at twenty five dollars a day, and they're getting leads. So don't allow them to discourage you on that. How we find the buyers, let's talk about that. Now we use a tool which you're likely familiar with and I'll put a link in the description called an Investor Lift. That's our primary tool that we use in order to sell these deals. That's like the Mercedes Benz right now of finding buyers nationwide. It's an amazing tool. And however, it might be cost prohibitive for you if you are brand new in the business. Now, um, by the way, there's a link in the description. If you do get an account with them using my link, then reach out to me and I'll include some additional bonuses. I don't want to say what they are here, but I guarantee you they'll be worth your while in terms of the help that you're going to need in order to make that platform sing and uh, work for you really, really well. Now, there are, the, uh, there are other tools available that will uh, give you buyer data access and allow you to figure out where the buyers are. It's not as robust as InvestorLift, but there's another one here that I'll link in the description as a number one, as a number two tool. We use that as well, and I'll provide you some tutorials on using that tool. Uh, but in essence, you know, through these tools, we're, we're working exclusively with investor buyers. We're not working with people that have never bought a deal from a real estate wholesaler. We're working with people that know the game, that know and understand how we work, and it makes it a lot easier to get these deals done. I'd rather take less money on a deal and work with somebody who's experienced and you know, try to squeeze as much as I can out of a deal and then end up having the whole thing fall apart. Why? Because that person didn't know what the hell they were doing. Now, the most important thing to take away from this video is a couple of things. Number one is the nationwide real estate model is by far superior than any other model. In our programs, we have had the most success with this model, implementing it with the online advertising, uh, far better results with clients than ever before, ever. Number one, that's number one, the nationwide model. Number two, online lead generation is where you need to be. It's gonna give you warm incoming leads, people that are interested in selling their property at a discount, and it's gonna enable you to do deals uh, a lot easier than if you're doing with cold calling and you have to hire cold callers, you have to hire, you have to get data, and now you're dealing with a different prospect. And so it's just an easier game to play with. It also becomes a sifting and sorting game, not a convincing game. 
because what you want is you want a large number of incoming leads uh, that you're getting each and every day every single week and that means that then you don't have to deal with the turds if somebody is a pain in the butt you just say next move on with with move on and not do anything else lastly but not least no matter what you hear on the news today in terms of the real estate market and a lot of people are saying oh my god the real estate market is falling oh my god real estate is being banned here or there don't believe any of that we are working on a workaround for south carolina i'll stay tuned for that but other thing, other other scenarios, people are are misinformed. I'll give you an example: Oklahoma. Oklahoma people say, "Oh, it's illegal in Oklahoma." It's not illegal in Oklahoma. You cannot publicly market a contract in Oklahoma, meaning you can't put it on Craigslist. But you can reach out personally to people about the deal. But a lot of people, and I know this for a fact because I I personally reached out to the commission there to get clarification on that law. So be careful about who you listen to and the information that they're giving you and, and, and think about what, why are they at, offer me that advice? It's enough. I, I, I'm the first to tell you, I've got courses to teach you how to run your own ads. I can set up the ads for you. So you can argue, well, Chico, yeah, you want us to run our own ads because you've got a course, potentially. But at the same time, I, I think I make a valid argument that you could run your own ads, save the money that you would be sending with the agency, instead push it into the ad campaigns and then now you don't have to be, uh, you, you, you're not tied into anybody and you're in full control of your marketing. To me, that makes logical sense. The market, no matter what anybody else says about the actual real estate market imploding and, and, and things you know, going south, there are a lot of people that are interested in selling their property. They're looking for a way to do it without real estate agents. You just have to get good at, at determining what those uh, potential opportunities are making sure that you negotiate the right price and then you're going to make money because there's always people in the market looking to buy good deals you just have to get better deals and you have to get better opportunities because the buyers will be buying but you just got to be able to offer them a better deal so i want to encourage you that if you are interested in uh, any of our programs just look at the links in the description but in the meantime check this video out about how you can get an unlimited number of leads in your real estate business and it's gonna be a game changer for you.